Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're taking a look at the Zebra F701, and this is the all male, uh, all male, all metal version. And as you can see from the container the packaging, it says all metal inside and out. And these are surprisingly affordable. They're about six bucks, and it says even featuring an all metal refill. Okay, so I guess they truly embrace the whole all metal thing. So let's take a look at this thing. Now, the this particular model of the pen, for a while, what people were doing is they were actually getting this pen, and I want to say it was the 401. Basically, they were, they were removing the top part because this top part used to be plastic. And they were removing this top part from the other pen that was metal and replacing it and making an all metal version. But I think Zebra finally got wise and decided they would just make an all metal F701. So let's try this out. So this is a Zebra F7701. And this one is 0 0.8 millimeters. All right, so it says it's all metal. So let's look at the all metalness of it. Uh, and screws. Where's this thing unscrew? I think it unscrews here. Is that right? Hmm. Can't get a grip on it. I think it is the tip that unscrews. Hold on a second. Let's see if a Swiss Army knife will solve this problem. Not doing too much awfulness. There we go. Alright. So let's take a look at this all metal refill. Here's your all metal refill. Um, sadly it's one of those zebra refills. I really wish they'd make this pen in some kind of like, you know, one that would use a Parker Jotter refill. But, eh. Part of the, part of the hack people did was they used to be able to, used to be able to kind of sort of a little bit use like a, one of the Fisher Space Pen refills. But it was a weird fit. I never was. I tried it. I tried it, and I was never very happy with the the way it the way it fit. It always felt like it stuck to me. And because what it was is there was a, there used to be a plastic piece down in there. It might still be in there that you would be able to sort of modify a little bit. All right. So this is the F seven hundred one, and it's all metal according to the packaging. I think what they did is they used to have the FXMD and I think what they did is they just decided hey we'll just make this and have it replace the 701 or make the 701 all metal these feel about the same so anyway so instead of having to do the hack now where you modify the pins. You can just buy the F701, and these are on Amazon. I'll include a link in the description if you want to check it out. Like I said, they're about six bucks, and six bucks for an all-metal pin is not bad. I mean, it's a tough pin. Although it's a pretty tough pin. I think it'll survive some pretty hard use. And the upside is, eh, if it doesn't, it's only six bucks. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. Do you like the 701? Are you going to be difficult and just hunt up the XMD? Let me know in the comments. And if you have any suggestions for anything I should check out, you can also let me know down there. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope y'all have an excellent day.